Coming up on Innovations, join us as we travel to Saginaw, Michigan to witness a life-changing wheelchair that is literally raising the bar. This continuing education provider of traditional Chinese veterinary medicine offers students the right blend of theory and practice. Advancements in technology are revolutionizing the medical community. And this organization is helping fertility patients build healthy families by providing evidence-based prediction of fertility treatment success. All ahead in the next half hour. Hello, I'm Ed Begley Jr. and this is Innovations. Advancements in technology and medicine provide more answers today than ever before. Living at the forefront of technology, our knowledge will only continue to grow and teach us how to sustain and live healthier, longer lives. Traditional Chinese veterinary medicine, although relatively new to the Western world, is a medical system that has been used in China to treat animals for thousands of years. The history of Chinese medicine, it actually began with people having the most natural reaction in the world to places that were sore. They would find a place that was sore and they would rub it and they would find that it would feel better. And over time, they began to determine that there were correlations between internal diseases and external pains. And so they began to define a number of points that when they treated those points for that kind of pain, it got better. Chinese medicine is predicated on the ideas of, of transformation. Originally, they were used like a combination of the acupuncture and herbal medicine for many illness. Acupuncture is good for musculoskeletal disease. However, for internal medicine case, as a heart failure, renal failure, for instance, we have to use medicine. In ancient times, they called Chinese herbal medicines uh, to be better or has a quicker clinical results. And for skin conditions, for instance, we have to use uh, like food therapy and combine with herbal and acupuncture. The earliest tenets of Chinese medicine really come from the Yellow Emperor's Treaties on Internal Conditions. We noticed these points were well written and well described. We began to notice that some of the points in people and animals could be transposed. We used the same tenets from these written medical texts on people to try and apply them to animals and treat them, as well as other things that we observed and saw that worked. And so there was a, an evolution starting with traditional Chinese medicine into traditional Chinese veterinary medicine. Chinese medicine is based on the Taoist worldview that the body is a microcosm of the larger surrounding universe. As such, the cosmic laws and forces that govern the external world also govern the body's internal environment. In short, if I could summarize Taoism, I would say that it says do what needs to be done and yield and go with the flow of nature. But in Chinese medicine, the idea of yin and yang is that process of transformation that relates to how the body functions. And we can subdivide that into the relationships of organs within the body to each other. That relates to the endocrine system and, and water metabolism, the fluids of the body, such as hormones and enzymes. Though Chinese medicine can be traced back over two millennia in recorded history, it, like any medical system, continues to evolve today. Well, as our testing in that in conventional medicine improves, and we can do now functional MRIs where we can look at the brain in action as it's working, so we know where certain acupuncture points activate certain parts of the brain, and that's how we get different effects with different points. Acupuncture is only one branch of the vast and complex field of traditional Chinese medicine. In China, acupuncture is rarely used alone and is instead combined with other traditional Chinese medical modalities. There are four branches of traditional Chinese veterinary medicine. There are acupuncture, Chinese herbal medicine, Tuina, and food therapy. If we integrate everything together, you can solve more issues, not only about musculoskeletal issues, disc issues, but also internal medical disorders. Secondly, integrate together, you can get in clinical results much, much quicker and much more efficient. With a main campus in Reddick, Florida, and program bases in Spain, Australia, and China. The Qi Institute has proudly graduated over 4,000 licensed veterinarians from 50 countries and regions around the world since 1998. We teach a whole traditional Chinese veterinary medicine. We teach acupuncture. We also teach Chinese herbal medicines, trainer medical manipulation, and food therapy. So when the students come here, they can learn all the traditional veterinary medicines. Conventional Western medicine, they're good with diagnostic. They have MRI, X-ray, blood work, all those labs available. 
Chinese medicine have a lot of rich information how to treat the patient, how to get results. So I find that Western medicine is a weakness, is a Chinese strength. Chinese medicine weakness is Western strength. So ideally, it's a marriage together, getting best uh, results. Though traditional Chinese veterinary medicine has its origins in China, it has established a global presence in the past few decades that continues to grow today. As a result, the benefits of traditional Chinese veterinary medicine to animals and their human caregivers are broader reaching than ever before. In the medical community, um, of course, there's always resistance to any change. And now they're beginning to see there's such an overwhelming body of evidence as to that it works and how it works that it's beginning to be more accepted there also. The Qi Institute's permanent on-site campus and combined online opportunities allow students an unparalleled educational experience that is more convenient, less costly, and more time efficient than other acupuncture or traditional Chinese veterinary medical schools. The program itself is wonderful, it's very convenient. There's an online section and then there's an on-campus section. So a lot of it you can do from home and you can go through the videos at your own pace. We're also learning a little bit about herbs, we're learning a little bit about food therapy, so that entices all of us to get even more education beyond the program that we're starting with, which is the acupuncture. I plan on taking the information and education that I've received from the Qi Institute implementing it into my practice and turning my practice into an integrative veterinary hospital so that I can better serve my clientele. Ultimately, the Qi Institute hopes for graduates to approach problems from both an Eastern and Western perspective. We always emphasize practical, how is a simple, easy way integrate the Chinese medicine into conventional Western medicine. This is very important. There's medicine and there's a tool chest. I practice medicine and these are all the things that are in my tool chest and we see that the medicine of traditional Chinese veterinary medicine should agree with conventional medicine and we want to see that further and through by, by bridging that gap hoping to be a better benefit to our patients and our clients and the people that we serve and the patients we care for. The education of the Qi Institute has already affected my practice in a positive way as I've started to incorporate the things I'm learning. I've already brought more options to patients that I didn't have before. The Qi Institute's primary mission is to promote the evidence-based practice of traditional Chinese veterinary medicine by providing world-class continuing education programs in all aspects of traditional Chinese veterinary medicine. For more information, visit www.tcvm.com or call 352-591-2141.